good afternoon to one and all today we are going to explain uh, our next uh, next experiment here is calculation of uh, electrical energy for domestic premises in this uh, we are having some uh, different components i just want to explain uh, we are having some uh, variac part here that it is single phase variac followed by energy meter and uh, this side may be call it as input side and this side may be call it as output side input side we are having some uh, two terminals phase and neutral output side also you are having some two terminals phase and neutral followed by you are having some ammeter and uh, watt meter this ml combination may be call it as current coil and this cv combination may be call it as pressure coil or voltage coil main load common voltage and we are connecting some uh, bulb load here in order to uh, go for our uh, particular experiment we have to calculate some electrical energy now with the help of some bulb loads yeah observe our uh, practical connections right now we are having some energy meter now this one is our energy meter this one observe followed by this one is a uh, variac part this one is a uh, single phase variac we are having some watt meter observe this one is watt meter and this one is amp meter and this one is volt meter and these are the loads observe we are having some three bulbs now these are the loads just i would like to explain our connections right now just observe our connections for the watt meter just observe this one is our energy meter in this energy meter we are having some our two colored wires maybe here now one thing is blue colored and the one is green color this one is a uh, one phase that it is phase and neutral input side and these two are output side phase and neutral for the input side phase and neutral i just want to connect directly these two wires to the variac yeah hub zone this blue colored wire and green colored wire are connected directly to this uh, single phase variac directly in order to observe our voltage just these two wires phase and neutral are connected directly to these two things voltmeter measurement this wire and this yellow colored wire these two wires are connected to phase and neutral in order to measure voltage in this particular voltmeter only this input side observe for the input side i just want to connect voltmeter and directly this uh, two wires also connected to this phase and neutral in a similar thing observe our next circuit part output side phase neutral is connected this phase is connected to which one here ammeter positive followed by ammeter negative is connected to main watt meter that uh, line is connected to bulb load again this bulb load other end is connected to voltage followed by neutral yeah observe this wire here first of all phase is connected to ammeter positive this one is uh, yeah this phase is connected to ammeter positive this one this blue colored one you can observe that ammeter other end is connected to which wire there m yeah. ammeter other end is this one now is connected to m terminal in this one observe this uh, watt meter na m and don't forget this uh, mc terminals are short circuited like this just observe this m and c is connected like this mc terminals are short circuited mc next l is connected to this one we can observe this l is connected red colored wire is connected to bulb load that bulb load other end that is neutral is connected to this voltage 300 part same this 300 voltage part is connected to neutral wire green colored one this one is the connection there this one is input side phase neutral this one is output side phase neutral this output side phase neutral now we have connected ammeter watt meter load we have to measure energy in this particular energy meter in order to go for the calculations i just want to observe we have followed some uh, steps here the first and foremost step here is when we switch on this supply we have to vary this variac up to 230 volts then we observe there is no reading in the part of ammeter and watt meter why means i don't apply this uh, loads right now when i apply these loads there is some variation in the part of current and this watt meter reading then we for go further for the calculations and what are the different uh, procedure we have to follow here is we have to follow how many revolutions when there is application of load this entire uh, ring is rotated like this different revolutions we have to measure those revolutions with the help of some stopwatch yep yeah. next uh, we are going to implement our experiment right now in, for a practical part just on your supply and uh, 
apply 230 volts with the help of this variac. Yeah, rotate this uh, variac up to the level of 230 volts. That it is. It is connected in terms of 300 uh, meters point. Observe. I just applied how much things here. 115 into 2. It's approximately 230 volts. Yeah. Observe. There is no current reading here and this wattmeter reading. Then we can uh, observe these two readings here is just apply this load. Yeah. Observe. I just want to on this uh, load here. One of the bulb. Then uh, simultaneously we observe there is some reading in the part of current. When the application of this load, there is some uh, deflection in the part of ammeter and wattmeter. Again, I just want to apply another load. There is some increase in the part of wattmeter reading and ammeter. Again, yeah, I applied all the three loads here, different bulbs having some reading of uh, 100 watts and 200 watts bulbs right now. Then I observe when I can apply all the amount of load. There is some uh, wattage here. It's approximately 240 watts, followed by some current here as 3.8 amperes, and there is no variation in the input side voltage. When there is application of uh, three bulbs, and we can observe one thing here. With the help of uh, rota we are observing some rotation is there, red color rotation. I just want to on this one stopwatch. Then I observe five revolutions there, five revolutions one. Two, three, four, five. Let it be. This one is just an example. I just want a stopwatch. How much time it take for five revolutions is your intention. But observe one thing here. In this particular meter, they have given some 1200 revolutions. Observe, 1200 revolutions takes per 1 kilowatt hour here. 1 kilowatt hour energy will take how many revolutions? 1200. But uh, for the sake of our experiment, I just want to observe how much how much uh, energy is there for 5 revolutions. For a 5 revolutions, I just want to note down the time. Then I can observe the theoretical calculations right now. Yeah. This entire energy meter will give 1200 revolutions per kilowatt hour. This one is the specification of this energy meter. But when you are using our experiment, I just want to take only 5 revolutions time. Yeah, observe. I would like to go for the part of calculations right now. I just applied how much voltage? 230 volts. And the current we observed there is 0.7 multiplication factor there is 2. It is approximately 1.4 amperes. And we observe watt meter reading W. It is 340 watts. And how much time it take in order to go for 5 revolutions, 45 seconds is our time. But originally we are having some, it, the meter uh, specification here is 1200 revolutions per kilowatt hour. I just want to go for the part of two things here. One thing is measured value, another one is theoretical value. Measured value is let it be E1. It is how many revolutions we have chosen here? 5 revolutions divided by 1200. We will give some uh, watt, uh, watt hour here is 4.16 watt hour is the E1 value. What is this E1 name here is measured value, measured energy value. In a similar thing measured, uh, after measuring the things, we go for the theoretical value. It is a formula here is that watt meter reading into time. How much time that is take for high revolutions here is 45 seconds. Yeah, 340 is the watt meter reading, 5 is the time taken for 5 revolutions divided by in terms of hours so 1 by 3600. And we get some value of 4.25 watt hour. This one is a theoretical value. This one is a measured value. What is the error here is that uh, entire uh, measured value minus theoretical value divided by theoretical value. Uh, that one is E1 minus E2 divided by E2 into 100. It is a percentage now. We get some value here as minus 1.97 percentage. Yeah, we clearly observe here is if the value is in negative, the meter runs slow. If the value becomes some force to here means the meter runs fast. We observe that energy meter reading, if there is any negative percentage error is there means the meter runs slow. If it is positive means the meter runs fast. That is it. Thank you.